What is this place? I guess it's a part of the spine, devil spine area. Is there a place to land on it? No. Whale! I probably can't capture a whale. Which is a shame, but I accept that. What the fuck? A red cultist, too? You approach a hooded figure. They are standing expectantly. Vermilion ro red robes blowing in the wind. Fishermen, serve. The voice on the hood cuts through the human air. Deliver the vessel. The hooded figure produces an old paper scroll. They point it uh, at a shape on it. A cusk eel. Okay, well, buddy, guess what? I don't have that. You can have a pale skate! Don't like this magma here. God damn, man. When I'm looking for a... a shipwreck, I just can't find them. At least, like, a fresh one. I'll, I'll have to just, like, use some of the old ones we found before. Heading over to the Twisted Strand! What kind of cool things are happening over here? There's only two places to land on this area. But hey look, a shipwreck! Whoa! Son of a bitch! Get honked at! Uh, I don't, I don't need anyone to respond to my honk. This is a big ass fuck. Are you serious? Lane wreck. Why is this glowing? Dog tags. Huh. Someone around these parts probably wants that. Oh, don't talk to me. What? Oh, shit. Okay. Entwined mullet. Twisting, twitching tendrils sprout from the gill plates of this little fish. They heave in unison, moving the fish against its will. Gross. Well, I see the traveling merchant here over here, so I'm just going to go ahead and catch all the fish in this place. Or at least a good number of them. Another crashed plane? What's happened here? Oh. Here again, come by for a chat. Uh, about those rare fish you want me to find. Mm. I haven't caught any of them, never mind. What can you tell me about the Twisted Strand? Eh, not much, to be honest. I've gone inside just the once. I sailed into that lagoon behind us and saw I could go left, right, or straight ahead. Mm. Something about the place seemed off. Through the fog, it seemed like the trees were moving. I can't explain it. I turned around and sailed right back out. Good instincts! Those are fantastic instincts, Traffic Merchant. I sometimes use this spot to rest up for a few days. The sunrises are particularly striking through the haze. Never do any regular business here, of course. Anything you want to talk about? Yeah. I want you to buy stuff off of me. Waha! I guess while I'm here, I could buy some things. I suppose you could say you couldn't avoid the rock that appeared out of nowhere? Yeah, yeah, I've heard it all before. Let's get you fixed up. I mean, it's true. Refined metal, and then storage. Packed explosives, and then storage. Hmm. I was wondering if her... 
thing would refresh. What the fuck? Leave me alone! <laughs> it's following me! I just wanted to go to whoever fucking person's chilling out over here. This is bad. Full steam ahead! Eesh. I think it fucked off. Oh, thank God. Don't ever warn me about the monsters that just casually exist out here. Pile is debris. It can be cleared to make a shortcut. Use explosives. You don't have any Pax explosives. Ugh. Why are so many planes crashing into this particular place? Is it just because it gets super foggy? Gar. Claw fin gar. Crooked talons hang from its fins. Periodically they shudder and come together, grasping like a hand. Gross. Careless harvesting. Oh no. Deplete a total of 25 fishing spots. Now I, now that they've called me out on it, I kind of feel bad. Just hook a left over here. Oh, that becomes a shortcut. Got you. Do I have to find dog tags at all the crashed planes? A large man is watching you through the billowing smoke of a campfire, idly carving away at a wooden stake. He stands as you pull ashore. <laughs> Stranger, from that look on your face, I'd say you've encountered the local wretches. Take a seat. <laughs> yeah! You join him by the fire. I've been trying to get rid of them of this. Uh, I've tr been trying to rid them from this accursed jungle ever since we wrecked here. The boys called them mind suckers on account of them, well, affecting the mind. They made us see things, do things. I'd ask you for safe passage away from here, but not until after I've avenged my squadron. What happened to them? A number of us went down in the fog, crashing into trees or ditching into the water. Those that survived rallied here, under the bows of this giant tree. But it offered us scant protection. Before help could arrive, our numbers quickly dwindled, picked off by the fiends and the forest. I've met a few would-be rescuers over the years, but none would help me in my fight. Are you any different to the rest? Yeah, I can do my best. I figured you'd bet for it. You. You have the look. Listen up. First, we need to find the lost pieces of my squadron's mortar. We'll then use that to bombard the beasts. Other planes went down to the north and east of where we are now. Now mark the possible crash sites on your map. You go see what you can salvage. Uh, how will you honor your squad mates? I've hung a few of their dog tags up on the tree behind me. It seemed fitting enough. But I've only got tags from the ones I... You must understand, I never found all of their bodies. If you happen to find any of their dog tags, I could add them to the tree with their brothers. I have a number of mechanical doodads that you might find useful. Here, take this one in good faith. I'll give you one more for each tag you bring me. Oh, hell yeah! Uh, here's one! Aye, hmm. thank you. I'll hang them on the tree. Here, as I promised. Alright. Alright, tell me about the mind suckers. Hmm. Devilish creatures through and through. 
They'll stalk you along the waterways and emerge suddenly, screeching their terrible song. The first time it happened to me, I saw shadows of my squad mates reaching out to me in a feverish dream. When I finally snapped out of it, I was covered in bloody scratches. They must have sent me running through the foliage. Since then, I've done my best to avoid the fiends. Their senses seem to be based on movement, so move carefully. Okay, that's helpful. Are there any shipwrecks around here? <sighs> shipwrecks? No. Anything that meets its end here is quickly swallowed by the silt. I see. That explains why... I can't, uh, get what I need here. But we got the research parts I need to finish the Fathomless Winch, so we just have to go buy the upgrade. Okay, long thin eel. That's the only one I'm getting at the moment. I don't like the red glow in there. Oh shit. So did you encounter any of these mine suckers right around the corner from me, traveling merchant? Oh. <laughs> it seems like a dangerous place. Another refined metal. Okay, so she just sells them. Like, she just refreshes her inventory often. Got you. That's nice. Um, let me get my Fathomless Winch. We'll go ahead and replace this. Swift Reaper. What's that? Have a combined fishing speed of 200%. Oh, wow. I don't know how, <laughs> considering that these are just 82% fishing speed each, but okay. Yeah, I guess I'm supposed to, like, put stuff there. For extra speed. I'm buying this. Putting in storage. So we'll be good on... We only needed three refined metal for the next hull upgrade. Oh, no rest up. I will, uh... I'm gonna help out. The dude here. Or try to, at least. Because if I can get dog tags and get a bunch of research parts, that helps out massively. Yeah, okay. Oh fuck, those are actually- okay, that's not good. All these mushrooms are like solid. Oh, fuck. I should have brought explosives. Maybe I can lure this thing into a trap? This is just a trap meant for me, I don't know. Ugh. Research part. Research part. Give me a research part. Shit. I'm 
going the wrong way. Do we have a little dock here? What's going on with this? Campsite. You see a campsite. Some old fish are suspended on a spit over a fire that was never lit. A pile of fabric is gathered at the base of a large tree nearby. Check the bundle of fabric. A nest of rags lies at the base of a tree. Somebody slept here. The rags are covered in bark chips. There are symbols carved in the tree above. There are three distinct sets of symbols. Look at the first set. There's a book symbol underneath a wave, and then an upwards arrow. A cloud hangs over it all. Okay. Uh, five unfamiliar symbols mark the corners of a pentagram. The shape of a person is lying down in the center. Okay. A book symbol sits above a wave. A downwards arrow points from the book down through the wave. I wonder what the fuck all that means. Inspect the fish on the spit. Rotten fish hang from the spit. The fire below had been prepared, so it must have left in a hurry. So... Book symbol underneath a wave, and then an upwards arrow. A cloud hangs over it all. Is it just trying to tell me where I could, like, find a couple of books, and then, like, this one, there's, like, a someone getting sacrificed? Huh. We'll go ahead and rest up here. Fish. I want dog tag. Sergeant Fish. Sometimes called the Snook, this drab fish feeds on anything smaller than itself, including juveniles of its own species. <gasps> A cannibal fish! Getting over with mind and body. What's that gonna be? 15% resilience to panic. A strange journey smattered with quotes and wisdoms that promise enlightenment, but towards the end it became a tedious and unrewarding slog akin to climbing a mountain! Ha! <laughs> An odd mix of relaxation and frustration. Maybe I'll read it again someday. <laughs> That's, that is definitely a reference to the getting over it video game. Is this the, uh, yeah, this is the first plane we found. Darn depleted. What was that? It's our dark shape in the distance. Could have been anything. <gasps> I see a dog tag. Gotta figure out how to get over there. I think that's a play- actually, that might not be the dog tag. That might just be... the mortar part. That's fine. I want those two. Ah, shit. <laughs> they 
did say their vision's based on movement, so I guess just staying completely still saved me there. Give me the forbidden fish. Yes. Let's make some noise. Maybe doing this will actually get rid of the... ...the enemies in the area, which would be nice. If only I was finding scrap, uh, not scrap, um... If only I was finding cloth with all of this stuff. Yeah, we're not gonna make that work. Alright. Airman, I found the parts of the mortar. That's the lot. Now, while I work on assembling the mortar, you can get started on the next phase of the plan. You may have noticed some contraptions in the lagoons around here. I've assembled those traps from the mine suckers. We just need to lure them in there. Once they're in, you see, I can fire on them with our new mortar, and that'll be the end of them. No more nightmares. I'll mark the locations of the traps on your map. Got it? All right. How do we get the mine suckers in the traps? They're attracted to some very specific types of bait. Your skills will come in handy here yet again. Have you got everything? Wait, is it safe? Mm -hmm. Of course not. Have you got everything? Uh, yeah, I guess. How'd you make those traps? Mm -hmm. With patience. The creatures only seem to sense movement, so whenever one was close, I froze. Alright, I guess I gotta use myself. Oh, we need to make three special baits from different combinations of fish. Okay, what's the first one? This one takes three fish from the area to make. Uh, is this one of them? Here, you can have that one too. Oh, sorry, actually this one will work. Uh, what about the second one? This one needs two fish from the area to make. And then what about the last one? Too sure this too okay so this that one's easy that's just the eels that are right in front of his uh, camp wait hold on does he have a storage unit thing I have okay I need that ah shit
just trying to make a little bit of space. Ew. That's not what I was looking for. Twin eels. Endlessly pulling away, but torn apart, they would surely perish. Two spiteful siblings splitting at the seams. Blech. I just need some regular eels. Thank you. Alright, here you go. Long thin eels. That should do it. I'll just mix these in here. Load this into a trap, then get well clear from it. When the trap springs, I'll fire upon it with the mortar. Make sure you bring back proof the thing's really dead, you hear? Sure, I guess. Foul-smelling mixture of fish and something else. The airman says this should attract the beasts and twist a strand. I should be careful. Sure. I guess we'll get out of here. Large cage is suspended over the water. A small receptacle is floating underneath. Load the trap with bait. You load the bait into the trap. You should probably move away. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Inside is the obliterated corpse of a mind sucker. The airman will be expecting proof of your success. A pale and bloodied slab, its smell is acrid and metallic. Give me this. The rest of the carcass sinks out of sight. I don't know, I feel like I can see it, but okay, so we gotta do that two more times. Here, I have a creature corpse to show you. Well, let's see it then. You hand the tattered lump of flesh to the airman. It's almost unrecognizable, but you both know it couldn't have belonged to anything else. He pokes at it with his knife, testing the rubbery meat. He seems satisfied. Yes, this is one of the beasts. Progress at last. More to go, though. Yeah, well, that one's got away. I, I gotta go sell stuff. This little nappy wappy. Okay. Running hot. <laughs> All right, floating dock. Is there anything I can put away? Fuck, dude. That's rough. Alright, what are the messages here? Tattered receipt. Goldsmith and Son, December 12th, 1926. Received the sum of $50 and zero cents in exchange for one silver necklace with emeralds on silver mounting. Additional notes. Received a further $3 for custom engraving on reverse of mounting. Customer to return tomorrow, December 23rd, for collection. Engraving to be as follows. For Jay, my shining star. Hmm. It feels like years since I've been warm. I do not expect him to write. I just need to know that he thinks of me from time to time. The next few lines have been smudged out. He must return. More angry smudging follows. I have written him another letter. This will be the last one. Oh. I wonder if that's from the couple. Maybe when the, uh, the casket opened up, she just ditched his ass, or he ditched her. I 
don't think that's one of the fish I need. I think this one is Tarpon. A powerful fish capable of bursts of energy, well suited to dashing into the mangrove roots to take cover. Now I need a small fish. This isn't the small fish. Son of a gun. That will be one bait. I don't know about the other one. Because it looked like a fish that we haven't found yet. It might be a fish that only shows up at like night or something. Oh, here we go. Catfish. Oh my god, it's huge. That's That makes sense. Are we gonna do this? This thing's massive. I mean, I guess I only really need the one. I'm saying I can't get more. All right. Uh, I think I should be able to hook a, a right up here. Explosive. Now I can hook a right up here. Oh fuck! Are you kidding me? Never mind. But there is a refined metal back there, so I definitely need to come back. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, trying to see if I can make space for one more catfish, but it's not happening. I really got screwed over by these two scraps. Airmen! Let's talk about baiting the traps. Alright. You can have this gar. And then... These catfish. <laughs> Alright. Let's set up some traps.